Peace fam, good morning. It's the pressure cooker and I'm back with the update about the old lad gal Carolina Collier. Sure. Anyway, um, as you guys may have known, uh, JetBlue had suspended Kalina pending an investigation after she pulled her stunt where she was lying and saying that she was allegedly allegedly being trafficked um, or kidnapped. And, you know, we had a whole bunch of people swooping down to try to save her ass. Anyway, um, it's being reported by multiple sources as of yesterday that she has, in fact, been terminated by the company. Um, this is the kind of stuff when you pull foolishness like this, I don't feel sorry for people where they lose their jobs because you put actually you put a lot of other people's jobs in danger. You put a whole um, resorts in danger. Do you understand how important tourism is? to an island like Jamaica, like that is, that's like their biggest industry. So when you're out here spreading things about human trafficking and being kidnapped, that's actually very serious. And there's a lot of like people who believed her. And even though the story turned out to be a hoax, those same people will still be afraid to go just on the strength of the lies that she told. So there's irreparable damage that was caused. Also, you know, you're just, you're, you're bringing a whole stain on a whole country. And so I don't feel bad for her. This is what happens. You know, we're going to tell her something where Mr. Sarah Mada did tell her when she little bit. Those who don't hear must feel. So, you know, you're out here, you know, disparaging Jamaicans and doing all this stuff. That's exactly what the F you get. I don't feel bad for you. On the same note, you know, I see Greasy Whole Live is still out here talking shit about Jamaicans. Girl, I see that you haven't been on camera. Are you afraid to show people where you get your saltfish fritters? Because I'm sure you worried and looking over your shoulder. Not for me, because I ain't worried about your ass, but guess what? You keep talking shit, you keep spreading lies about Jamaicans, and you're also trying to, I noticed that there's a lot of people recently who have been trying to start diaspora wars. It's really crazy how much hate people have <laughs> for each other. I've seen this before um, on my old channel. I had did a video about somebody named Sensei, um, Saran Sensei, because she she's very similar. She likes to create diaspora wars. She likes to create division among the black community. And that's the same vibe I get from um, Greasy Whole Live. She will just, really, she just wants attention. She doesn't care how she gets it, if it's negative, if it's positive. So, you know, let her keep doing stuff. Like I said, one thing I know with Jamaicans, we don't take people's crap. <laughs> we do not take people's crap, okay? I remember when I was in grade school, there was this boy who, he was talking shit. And, you know, we, at the time we were cool. And he had ended up getting mad at me and saying, you dirty Jamaican, which is really funny because there was no parts of me that was dirty. So that was the first insult. And, and I don't know if you guys have been around Jamaicans, but we pride ourselves in being clean. I'm not saying every single person is like that, but most of the Jamaicans I know, <laughs> you know, they're very clean with their bodies, with their homes. That's just, it is what it is. And so, so he called me a dirty Jamaican and I just like snapped and I ended up attacking him and kicking him, um, you know, in a certain place. And, you know, the way I was raised was my parents always told me, don't start stuff. Don't put your hands on people. If somebody hits me, you know, go ahead, defend yourself, you know, broke off them arm if you need to, <laughs> but don't swing, you know, don't swing first. But this was a case where I felt like, no, you're not going to sit here and call me no dirty Jamaican. And it was on site. And I wasn't even like, I was like a real chill kid. Anyway, let's just say I got in trouble <laughs> from my parents. But, you know, don't mess with Jamaicans. We're not to be played with, okay? <laughs> when <laughs> We're not the type of people you want to romp with. And um, so she can keep carrying on for clicks and views. And then she going to meet the right one out on the street. Anyway, moving right along. I also wanted to say there's a bunch of clout chasers with this story. Um, you know, we still have... The cult lady, we're going to call her the cult lady. She's still over there trying to convince people that she's swinging for Jamaicans, child. You're not swinging for Jamaicans because I heard you hating on Africans just two videos ago or three videos ago. You aren't fooling anyone. You're out here trying to call out sips of mocha. And I forgot the other woman's name. Jane is a part of her handle. You're out here trying to make it seem like people, these people reported on the story for clout and they are intentionally lying on Jamaica. Most people had compassion about this girl. That's why they reported on the story. Everything is not out from malicious intent. And she was over there doing tutorials on how to flag these people. If you guys get your video flagged, just appeal it. <laughs> like, I don't understand how some of these people have the time to, to just do these vitriolic and caustic things. Like, it's not even that serious. Like, you're so pressed. You're so angry and bitter. And it seems like you're jealous of those people because they had very good views on their videos. I know I watched Ships of Mocha. 
her video on Kalina Collier and she did an excellent job and I could tell that woman was legit concerned. So miss me with the bullshit. You don't care about Jamaicans. Okay. And this is coming from a Jamaican. You don't give a shit about us. You're just also looking for a click interview and you're just a hating ass bitch. So quit it. Anyway, that's all I got to say. <laughs> I hope Mercury retrograde are upon over because child, you know, when Mercury retrograde is on, Things get on and popping, and you know we tend to get in our feelings and stuff. But what do you guys think about Kalina getting fired? Um, do you think this is a, a, the right decision? Do you think it's karma? I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.